think I'm playing, huh? Okay. You think I'm playing, huh? Hit you with this big four five hollow tips, gonna eat your this is what India Mackie saw, right before the man who claimed to love her, would instead take her life. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. India Elise Mackie was born on November 18, 1999, born to Andrew Scott and Sabrina Mackie. She was a beautiful baby girl and her birth brought so much joy to her parents. India realized early on that her intelligence, combined with hard work, would propel her forward in life. She was vibrant and overflowing with affection and was also a dedicated member of her church. She enjoyed acting, singing, and spending time with her sisters and friends. India's life would come to a tragic end just one day after her 20th birthday at the hands of her boyfriend, 18-year-old Kevin Dixon. India Mackie had only been dating Dixon for about a year. The couple was living together. At first the relationship was great according to India. Kevin Dixon appeared to be sweet, caring, and overall, a great boyfriend. India posted about a relationship on social media. She wrote, let me just brag about my boyfriend real quick. I swear this boy came into my life at the right moment. I was at my lowest. Since I met him, everything has gotten better. My family loves him, and his family loves me. I can't wait to build with him. But unfortunately, cracks would soon develop in the relationship. Somebody come get this game system out my house. Kev been on it since yesterday and still on it, she said. When you got a good girl at home cherish it before it's too late. She later posted. She then posted, I can't wait till somebody who genuinely makes me happy come into my life. I deserve so much better, and I keep settling for less. On the day of the crime, India got into an argument with her boyfriend Kevin in front of their home on Shirley Avenue in Warren around 5.30 p.m. Tuesday. At some point during the argument, India pulled out her camera and started recording her boyfriend loading bullets into a gun. While taunting India sitting beside him, Kevin Dixon sits nonchalantly in the front seat of a vehicle, slipping rounds into a magazine of the gun resting on his lap. This is what 20-year-old India Mackey saw and heard mere moments before she was murdered. You think I'm playing, huh? Okay. You think I'm playing, huh? Hit you with this big 4-5 hollow tips, gonna eat your those angry, hate-filled words and despicable actions from her boyfriend, 18-year-old Kevin Dixon, police say, a young man who was supposed to love India, but this is anything but. This video is being taken by a woman who's going to be killed in moments mm -hmm. is, is unbelievable to me. The idea that he's pulling the bullet out, wiping his fingerprints off, showing it to her. And it chills you to the bone, says Macomb County prosecuting attorney Eric Smith, and I agree. The last thing her family has of her is the video where she is pointing the camera at the man who's gonna kill her. But after he shoots her, gets out of his car, pushes her over into the passenger seat and takes off driving in the car. Smith says India was shot inside a van outside of this home on Shirley Street in Warren. But according to cops, Dixon's criminal behavior did not end there. East Point PD gets all these calls about a white van that's, that's driving erratically over the road. They stop the car and they find her dead in the passenger seat. Dixon was arrested and is now facing first degree murder, carrying a concealed weapon and felony firearm charges. It's a cloud hanging over this father, Joseph Polk, after learning of the murder of his 20 year old daughter, India Mackey, and the alleged killer, her 18 year old boyfriend. Why would this 18 year old want to kill your daughter? Selfishness. Tuesday, about 6 p.m., here on Shirley Street in the 10 Mile and Hayes area of Warren. India and her boyfriend had only been living here a few months. Neighbors described them as quiet, but not on this night, as a loud shot rang out. I went to my porch, I looked over, I hear this guy frantically, you know, where'd you get hit? Where'd you get hit? With that, Tony sees India, who was shot, get into a white van, and Tony calls 911. I seen, um, a white van tear out of the driveway, beeped its horn a couple times, and it took down towards Hayes. Warren police say the van was pulled over by East Point police near Nine Mile and Gratiot because the boyfriend was driving carelessly. India was taken to the hospital where she died. The boyfriend taken into custody. I didn't like the young man. I, did, I, got wrong, I, got, I got the wrong vibes from him. And I told her, I talked to her. I constantly talked to her. I was like, he's not the one for you, baby. Her father says that they had only been dating for about a year, and she was killed just hours after her 20th birthday. Yeah, it's the day after her birthday. She just turned 20. 
She wasn't 20, 24 hours. To have the person you love, or the person who claimed to love you take your life, that is the ultimate betrayal. Our condolences to the friends and family of India Maki. She didn't deserve what happened to her. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.